Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the new documentary, Objects. And this is debuting at Doc NYC, and this is just an hour and six minute little film from director Vincent Liotta, and focuses on the ideas of objects, and really what makes something special, and the things that we attach to objects, and how that makes such an impact on us as individuals. And we see this story through the eyes of three people, who, one of which just has a 50-year-old clump of glass, a woman has a sweater who, which belonged to a French actress, and a 40-year-old sugar egg. And these three objects, and what they mean to these three people, and how they make meaningful impacts on their lives and how they fit into their greater personalities. The woman in here with the sweater, you could definitely tell she's a bit of a intense and serial shopper and really trying to like, she's spending a lot of time trying to find items that really make impacts and the sugar egg thing was very interesting because it brought into the idea of like somebody wanted to make a 3D scan of it for him and really it's like just because it's a clone copy does that really make it the same item you don't have that emotional connection to that particular clone does that make a difference and this documentary has a lot of interesting ideas I don't know if it's really grabs them and portrays them in the best and most effective of ways this documentary is definitely one that I'm like, I don't think this is a great film, but it definitely throws together a lot of ideas that are going to make you think. I know my fiance has a little blanket that she's had since she was a little kid. I had a Christmas dog na named St. Nicholas, and I unfortunately lost him moving out of my grandparents' house when I was forced to leave back when I was in college. And, but I had that dog since I was like two years old, and I left when I was almost 21. That dog was 19 years old. Still had it in my bed every night. And it's just like, those kinds of items have that kind of emotional connection and a deep meaning. And that's really what this film's about. It takes some shots at Marie Kondo, because it's like, get rid of it. It's just an object. If it does not bring you joy at that moment, it's just like, some of the people in this film argue back against that and what potential joy it might bring you in the future, but if you get rid of it, then you're losing that joy. And I don't know if this film really tackles those deeper philosophical ideas in a really deep and fully thought out and really engaging kind of way. I feel like this film throws a lot of ideas out. It'll make you think about them, but I feel like you have to do a lot of that thinking for yourself and initiating, and they could have, I felt like this film could have expanded a lot on it, but it still presents these ideas and presents these three people and their different perspectives, and it does give you still plenty to think about. And... Honestly, it's interesting because this is coming out around a time where they're talking about supply chain issues reducing, like, Christmas items and stuff like that this year. And this film has this philosophy of, like, items could be so important, they have emotional connections to them. And, you know, people with this capitalistic idea and consumerism and where we're putting all this value in objects... Versus people who are like, how about we celebrate Christmas how it's supposed to be then, instead of focusing on a bunch of toys. And I think this film's coming out at an interesting enough time that I think this could be a really impactful little experience for people if they're able to check this documentary out and get to hear from these three people and their perspectives. And one particular sequence where it's like, you attach a interesting story to a... 99 cent item and are able to sell it for 80 bucks that makes a pretty big impact doesn't it that thing is like this is just a pen unless like famous famous inventor used this pen at some point and then what value does it have and that's the thing about value nothing has value unless we give it 
value. And I feel like this film really focuses on that idea of the value that we bring to things in our lives, and I've definitely been there myself. So, whether this is, if you think this is a great film or not, I definitely think it's a very thought-provoking and engaging film that'll make you process a lot of different kinds of aspects of our day-to-day -day lives, and our, what are the things that really bring that joy into our lives. But those are my thoughts on objects. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.